Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to this beautiful day, mid-October. We're in the middle of Halloween season, but for this episode, we are gonna stay here in Disney Village. And there's a special reason why. I have been seeing tweets passing by that the Starbucks here in Disney Village would be more expensive than the two new Starbucks at Hotel Cheyenne or Santa Fe. And we are gonna test it. We are gonna go and check that out. I think it's time for a caffeine shot. Let's go. Pumpkin spice latte, please. You want some cinnamon on my leg, Mike? Yeah, please. Oh, no vanilla, just cinnamon. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's all for you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's really simple. I'm gonna order the same drink here in Disney Village and in one of the hotels. So, first drink, it's October. We have to have a pumpkin spice. So I did that. Now, I paid with my Starbucks card. So, I wanted to test if I can pay with that. Which means, if I pay with my Starbucks card, I have my syrup for free. I got 10% discount with the annual pass. Which makes that I had to pay for that drink five euros and four cents. Now we are gonna see if we have the discount in the hotel and if I can pay with my Starbucks card. I'm gonna order the exact same drink, but first I'm gonna drink that. One. See you in a bit. Welcome in the Wild West, where also here we have a Starbucks. Which again offers that's some seating. They do have Halloween decorations, which, which I absolutely love. And I do think, just so you guys can check, you have power outlets underneath the table so you can charge your phones or laptop. It's not possible with the cart. Okay. This one. Thank you. So, as you can see, two different things. We have other grill and Starbucks. The pumpkin spice latte is 20 cents cheaper in the other grill than in Starbucks. The big difference is that the Starbucks 
in Disney Village is operated by Starbucks. The other ones are franchises, which means I can't use my Starbucks card, so they can't offer me any free syrup. They didn't have the cinnamon syrup here, so that doesn't matter, they can't give it for free. But no card, so if you don't have a Starbucks card, you have nothing to worry, it will be 20 cents cheaper. And you both have your discounts. You have 10% discount with your annual pass here and in Disney Village. I don't know, 20 cents? I don't understand the fuss, but it was cool to make a little video about it. So now you know, it's 20 cents cheaper in the hotels. So if you're willing to take a walk and you have the time, just walk. Why not? So thank you all for watching this little video. I hope. You had as much fun as me drinking coffee. I hope to see you real soon in one of the other videos. Bye guys, bye bye. Okay guys, I'm sorry. This wasn't as relevant. I thought that we would like see a difference in price. It was way higher than 20 cents. So I'm sorry about the drinks. We did find one item or one item, a little menu that is actually way cheaper in Disney Village than at the hotels. That's the, the little brunch um, item menu. So on that brunch, you have a hot drink, you have a orange juice, a croissant, and three pancakes, or a breakfast hot box and a croissant. So that is a difference of five euros it's 10 euros here in the village It's 15 euros at the hotels so if you want to take that breakfast be sure to come to the village and skip the starbucks at the hotels next time it will be way more fun i thought that would be a fun video to make so we did find some big price chains but we thought that would be cheaper in the hotels next time way more fun see you guys bye bye thanks for watching bye Oh,